folks, get ready for the largest snakeskin I have ever seen in my entire life in Florida. This thing is massive. It's so big. It's like a freaking python. It's really hard to show you how fat and big this thing really is on video camera. Let me show you my hand. It's like as wide as my hand. Four fingers of my hand. I, I don't know what kind of snake that is. But that's a big snake. I tell you what. Wow. Yeah, you can just see it. Look at the size of Bob. <laughs> that's a big one, too. That is huge. It's still wet, too. Like, wet and soggy that is not no dry one holy smokes belly on it, I think. Oh. wow that's incredible yeah, yeah stanky I, I just can't think for the life of me what kind of snake that is. Oh, that is fresh. That SOB is around here somewhere. Alright, folks. Oh, it's hot. It's sweaty. But, walking through the woods here, I found a find. Right on top of the ground. It has to go with something I showed you all earlier. Just walking right over here. And I see this. Oh, yes. Oh, I love deer sheds. That one's got to be from this year, too. Oh, man. Oh, absolutely. That is from this year. No doubt about it. The other one might be fairly near. Alright folks, we're in it now. Even if we don't find anything else today, I will be happy. Nice little four-pointer. Yes! There it is, little four-pointer. That's a nice one, too. Heck yeah, man. It's got to be from this year. Like, the bottom looks white. Beauty. Awesome. Alright, folks. We just got a piece of brick and a rim fire. It's got the U, which would be like United Standard, I believe. 1867 or 66. To, uh, oh, a spider on it. To uh, 1871, I do believe. That's beauty. Check out this little guy. That's a gopher tortoise. Hey buddy, it's pretty dangerous being on the side of the road. Don't be scared. He's hungry. Or she. Yeah, a gopher tortoise. These are the holes we see all the time, metal detecting. Looks like fox holes. Ooh. Don't hiss. You're all right. He's mad. All right, little buddy. I'll leave you alone. You're angry with me.
we got two things here. This is an iron piece. It has a brass bolt going through it. It almost reminds me of that uh, lever action thing. And check this square nail out. It's absolutely a cut nail. No doubt about it. Look how thin that thing is and crude. That's a very early cut nail. That's really cool right there. I gotta save that. Things like a rectangle. Oh my god, I thought I had another little dime. Oh, okay. It's a rivet. This is very old though. This could be military, this could be off of anything. I can't believe how bad of a signal that was and it got so much better. That is a little rivet. Wonderful sign that this is still out here. These kind of targets, I should say. We got our next decent target. A lot of iron in here, but it's hard to get a good target. I got one down here, I can see part of it. It's definitely copper. Check it out. So right next to this tree stump there, you can see a circle. Okay. That is um, either a key cover or part, you know, you stick something in there and you would lock it. It's very gold guilty. I'll have to try to clean this up. Maybe it's got some patent information on it and I'll be back with you shortly. Next target was a choppy 60 signal. Turns out to be a big old fired musket ball and a square nail. Same hole. Give me a very weird signal. None of these signals are good except for the uh, first one, but wonderful. We're still finding some things. Groundhog hole. Check it out. Right on top of the ground there with the ground hole dug out. The groundhog dug out. Alright folks, I got a button. Can you believe that? This is the first button out of here. All these coins and everything. But this is the first button. Check it out. It's really cool. It's like convex. Convex flower button. It's got like a flower on it. The part where the shank would be is gone. Very cool. It's got some shiny left in there, but nice little convex button. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, we don't have a whole lot today, but we had fun. Bob found uh, two clock parts and part of a pocket knife. Now me, I got a, like a possum or a raccoon jaw. And I got my beautiful four point rack, a deer rack. I'll clean that up, it'll be nice and beautiful. An old fishing lure. It had the wood still on it, but it broke. Part of a chain. I thought this was a horseshoe. Broken horseshoe, but I'm not too convinced now. Uh, 22 casing. Another little casing. This thing here, I'm not too sure what it is. I thought it was a casing, but it's not. Melted lead. I got brick with like mortar still on it. That's cool. Another fire, fire bullet or brass piece with the iron. Our cut nail. And our casing. Oh, also a uh, little, uh, what do you call that? Roofing nail. So not too shabby. That definitely makes up for it right there. So I'm probably going to add another day's hunt. Um, to this that we didn't find too much in and try to throw it all together here 
Uh, we got the hurricane coming, Hurricane Dorian coming in a couple days, so I might not be able to make a video for like a week or so. So we'll see. I'll try to get a video of the hurricane. We did that with Irma last year, and hopefully we'll catch you on the next.